from, I mean, um, I remember him from Tekken 8, well, I mean, Tekken 6. The game they came out in 09, which was probably the worst games I've played, even though I beat it multiple times on Xbox. But we're talking about a character that really made no sense to me, to be honest. The storyline in Tekken 6 was pretty boring because I didn't, well, I wasn't able to beat him at some point, but I did pass certain levels, but I didn't really beat every single level in the game. I just thought it was kind of mediocre to say the least, so we're going to go ahead and dive into this video. Hopefully, he'll be able to wow me and surprise me somehow, so let's get to it. Alright. Okay, I like that slide. Oh, okay. Woo! Yo, he did the legend for powers though. Oh. Oh my god! Oh my goodness! Fuck! Oh my goodness! Yo! Every time I see trailers like this, it's always that one hard side effect. Oh! 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 This character really surprised me. He really surprised me with this one because I thought he was going to end up being another mediocre character from Tekken 6, but somehow they made him better. They improved this character in this game. So him using electric powers and then towards the end when he just went all out, went all uh, Nijisu mode, he went all Naruto mode. This character is going to be broken like crazy. I mean, he is literally OP in terms of combos. Ugh. Everything about this character screams potential of being the greatest characters in Tekken 8. This game has potentials of being one of the greatest games ever made by Bandai Namco. I know Max Millions gonna end up doing the reaction like always, breaking down and move sets and all of that. But the fact that they made him even better in Tekken 8 makes me excited for the future. There's always room for improvements and I think that's what it's all about. So original video will be down below. My name.